Okay, cool. So here's what's super important as well, is you'll always want to post it on the business page first, edit the text, edit the thumbnail first. Then we come over here on the other side and run the ad. Because as we go and run the ad, we're not going to be able to change anything about it anymore. So gotcha. you always have to do your editing prior to running the ad. So we just finished editing it, so we're good to go. So now let's go to the ads manager. And there's going to be two things that we do over here. Um, as it, actually, the tab that's already open at the very top. I think that one's the ads. Yeah, yeah, your audiences to the very left. And if that Zoom thing is in your way, you can just click and drag that. But but now, now there's two things we're going to do. We're going to set up the ad, publish it to go live tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., that's number one. And then number two, we're going to set up the custom audience. So let's 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 set up the ad first. Let's go to the three lines and then um, we'll go to ads manager. So as you click on ads manager and, and I know you have the bookmarks, so you're good there. But as you click like that, sometimes it'll take you to the to your to your personal account, which is your default account. So every time we come here, we always just want to make sure we're either going to the bookmark because we know we have it saved or if we don't go to the bookmark, and you come here, just always make sure the drop down in the top left always says Hayes King team. Okay. That means you're always in the in the right account. So we remove some detailed targeting. Yeah, the detailed targeting. Okay, so 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 here's here's my whole thing on um on um on 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 briefly describing your 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 ad. So right here, these are the three tabs that we go through, right? Campaigns, ad sets, and ads. These are the three tabs. Right now you're on the campaign tab. So when you look at your ads, that first one that's active, it just says new engagement campaign. So what ad is that? Right? So, so that's why giving it a, a brief description, a detailed description is, is super important. Because if you don't, you're not going to know what ad that is. So what, what ad is that? What, what ad do you have active? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's click on, um, click on edit. So this is, this is the first tab, campaigns, um, housing. Oh, this is the like ad. Okay, so so that's again, we named it on the second tab page likes, and we named it on the third tab page likes, but we didn't name it here. So go ahead and take out that and just go page likes. That's the one that's active. Okay, see, so had we wrote that, had we written that down there, we would have known exactly. Go ahead and publish. We would have known exactly what ad that was. You know what I mean? But we didn't, so we had to click into it, find out what what it was, and then, you know, so that's all I'm that's all I'm saying. Okay. And then when you did. Yeah. So, so, okay, cool. So we're good with that. And then at the very, very top, um, click on, go ahead and uncheck the box, uncheck the, the, um, to the left page likes the blue dot, uncheck the, yeah, uncheck the box. And then the, the calendar in the very, very top, that's what you always want to do. So every time you come to the dashboard and you're looking and, and, and you want to look at ads, you want to look at numbers and, and, and see what's going, always go to maximum, always go to the maximum view. So date, uh, presets click on maximum yeah click on that and then go to maximum here yep right below maximum to the right right here no to the right maximum the word maximum to the right uh, oh there it is yeah so maximum okay cool so that's what's going on so you're at 0 0.02 you're at 0 0.02 per like which is which is which is not bad at all not bad at all not bad at all so you're at a good good number um so 579 came in so far so so on a, what are we spending on this again? 50 bucks or what was it? Uh, this was 50. Yeah. Yeah. So at point two, at point oh two, you'll end up getting, you'll end up getting, you'll end up getting around, around, around 2,300 new likes. So 2,300 plus 800, you'll be getting, yeah. So 20, so, so 31. So you ought to, you'll be, you'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm projecting that you're going to be a little, little over 3000 likes when this ad is over. Okay. You're at, you're at 1400 now. So I'm expecting it to double um, at the end of this campaign. So that's good. We spent 50 bucks to take it to 3000. Yeah. That's it. One time ad. Now we move on to lead ads. That's it. But now you have a, now you have a respectable number. Now you're at a few, a few thousand and it makes the page look good. Okay, cool. So we're good here. So now let's create, let's hit the, the green button and we'll just simply go in and, and create. And, and when you go in and create an ad, Always make sure everything is unchecked, just like we did. We unchecked everything. Always make sure everything, there's not one box checked. Because if there is a box checked, then you'll be creating an, a new ad around that ad, around whatever box was checked. So you always want to make sure it's clean, no no checks. So here we're going leads. Um, actually, I'm so sorry. We're going to, we're going to awareness. We're going, we're going to awareness. This is our first intro video. Okay. We're going to awareness. Okay, so now continue. 
Okay, awesome. So now um, we're going through the three steps. So this is step one. We cho we chose the objective, which was awareness. So go ahead and go ahead and delete that and just put 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 taco shop video. So now we'll just start. You know, we'll we'll try our best to just start describing or or briefly titling titling the videos. So it could easily be taco shop video. And then, and then in parentheses, I want to go with the actual objective. In parentheses, awareness. So when I'm looking at the campaign tab, I know exactly what happened in that step. Okay. I, I went, I went, it's my taco shop video and I went awareness. And then categories, you're going to always hit the drop down for categories and go to housing. And that's it. That's step one. That's it. We're good. So now next. Perfect. So now we're on step two, the ad set. Here we go with the budget, we go with the targeting, we go with the placement, we go with the calendar, when it starts, when it ends. All that is going on here in, in the middle. And we don't have to put Taco Shop actually, Taco Shop video, because we already, we already did that on the, on the first one here. Okay. What we're doing in each step, as far as the titling, all we're doing is titling it based on what happened in this step. Right? So in this step, if you scroll down, in this step, we're going with, um, there's the Facebook page, scroll down. In this step, we're going to simply go with the budget. We're going to go with the calendar. Um, we're going to go with, where, how come here? oh, show more options. Click on show more options right there in blue. Actually, the top, show more options. Scroll up real quick. Where's your, um, where's your budget? So scroll back up. Okay. So this is ad one. This is our first local ad, but it's brand awareness. What I really, what I really call our first ad is really our next ad, which, which, which is going to be for leads. Okay. Right. So once we start going for leads, that's when you'll kind of really have a monthly budget in mind. Um, because when it comes to that first lead ad, that one's going to run for 15 days. Our second lead ad runs for another 15 days. There's a 30 day period, right? So whatever that budget is, let's call it, I don't know, what's a, what's a comfortable monthly budget or daily budget? What, just throw a number at me and I'll give you the example. Uh, you want to do like $2 a day? $2 a day ain't going to do nothing. Um, okay. is this, how long is this going to run for? Well, this one here, you'll run this one for 15 days. But what I'm really trying to say is, oh, okay. is, is, is yeah, I guess I guess we'll just start this as as really ad number as ad number one. So in a, so in a, in a thirty day period, what's our monthly budget for Facebook ads? Um, I mean, gosh, I depends. Um, I mean, I could go several hundred dollars up to yeah five six seven hundred dollars. Perfect. So then so then yeah, so two dollars a day, for example, ain't nothing. When we go to ten dollars a day, ten dollars a day is three hundred a month, right? So so. So that that's kind of where we minimum where we want to be is at least at, at least at ten dollars a day, okay. fifteen dollars a day is four fifty a month. If you're running an ad every day at fifteen dollars a day, that's four fifty a month, right? So it just comes down to what's that monthly budget and and whatever that monthly budget is, preferably three hundred plus, whatever above three hundred, preferably anything above ten dollars a day is good. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that whatever. What, what, whatever that monthly budget is, we're going to simply just divide it by two because all we're doing is running one ad every 15 days. So oh, if, the budget, okay. So okay. if the budget is 300 for the month and we're going to run two right here, we're running it for 15 days and this is going to be 150. Okay. Right. So, so, so yeah, so let's just call it 300 a month, call it 300 a month. And, and this is, this is the starting of it. Okay. So, so the daily budget, change that to lifetime hit the drop down go lifetime and then just put 150 um right right to the side so 150 and then we'll always start our local ads the next day at 6 a.m okay so um yeah so september 24th and then we'll go 6 a.m and then we'll just simply push it out 15 days and again the whole objective with this is to is to capture the audience in which we can use to retarget on ad number two and on. Okay, so. That good there? Yes, 
perfect. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m., we're good. So now we'll scroll down and then um, and then locations, we'll simply change out that. And we'll edit, yeah, just hover over United States and we'll click on edit. Here's United States. Um, oh, there it is. Yes, so edit to the right. And then, and, and I was just on a call with my Facebook rep on Tuesday, going over a lot of this, a lot of the updates for real estate, for housing. Um, and she was saying how, when you're a local business, it's best to, it's best to go off of, yeah, so X out of the United States. So just hit the X to the right. And this is kind of, this is kind of up to, up to, up to the individual really. But, but she kind of said, if you're local, rather than targeting Reno, for example, target an address. And, and build your radius around a physical address. Okay. Right. So, so here you can type in, you can literally type in, and no one sees this. This is all internally. You can literally type in your home address right here. Okay. Or you can type in your, your, your office address. If you guys have an actual brick and motor, you could type in the, the physical address, or you could type in your neighbor's address. Like you literally can type in your neighbor's address and just build yourself. Um, a, it, well, 15 miles is the minimum radius, so we have to go out at least 15 miles, but you can go out 20 miles, 30 miles, up to 50 miles, and when you're typing it in, you're always looking for the drop down, so keep going until you actually see, and it's not place, it would be it would be address, so keep going until you actually, yeah, just. Okay, I think that's the wrong address, hold on, let me. Yeah, that might be the wrong, be but we're always looking for for the, for the drop down and we're always looking for it to say address not place perfect so yeah you can go out out to 50 mile radius maximum um and so whatever so here's the deal from this point on every ad from this point on is going to target that that exact address that exact 50 miles we're not going to we're not going to um steer away from from that okay so all we want to do is we want to continue to penetrate this 50 mile radius and just gather as much data as possible on every single ad so we can then segment and start creating these audiences but but all in this location right because sometimes i'll have like like you're in nevada so sometimes i'll have clients run an ad here and then they'll run an, another ad a few a few cities over like and it's and it's just kind of spreading yourself too thin yeah you want to just go all in on one location okay Right. That's what's going to create the, that's going to, that's what's going to really create the omnipresence. These people in this mile radius keep seeing Mike's face and there's power to that, you know? So, so, okay, cool. So we're good there. We're good there. Um, this is, this is brand awareness. So we're going to leave it, we're going to leave it on, on advantage placement. We'll let Facebook just place it all over the place okay. um, and just get as much data as possible. So, um, you yeah. know what, let me, um, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, we'll leave it on advantage placement. So now what did we do here? We went budget, we went targeting, we went um, 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 placement, we even went placement. So that's what, that's what we're going to use now to title at the top. So the title at the top, we'll just simply put, um, so we'll take away taco and we'll just simply put um, the budget, the budget, um, um, which is, which is, which is really what, $10 a day. You can go ten dollars a day, and and just something you know, just short and sweet. Budget ten per day dash dash um, fifty mile radius around address, and and really that's it. Budget fifty mile radius, fifty mile radius, and then just knowing that it was the address that you went off of. Yep. And and really that's it. And that really that's it. that's that's good for a title. Okay, good, good. So nothing, no, nothing under audience. Um. No, no, no audiences at all. Okay. So, so that's that. So now we'll hit um, we'll hit next. We're good there. We we got the calendar. We got the budget. We got the placement. I mean, yeah, the placement and we got the targeting. That's step two. That's the ad set level. Now we come to the third and final step where we actually grab the post from the business page. So right here in the middle, ad setup, click the drop down, create ad. We're gonna we're gonna use existing post. And then just um, scroll down and you'll select post. So right there at the top, select post, right below. Create, select post. Yeah, select post, and then you'll find that video. So we'll just scroll down until we find, until we find that video. You click on select post, and it brings you this drop down. And for whatever reason, you can't find it. You can paste it, that number in right there, clicking on the video, finding the number. You can see if it's there, and then and then and then if it's not that number. 
they give you the actual number there. So copy that 238. 23882. Yeah, oh, copy so that number. Yeah, use rec or you can do that. Hit cancel. And then now you're going to take that number and paste it in over here. So edit post or actually no. Um, so um, um, scroll. We should have seen scroll back up a little bit. We should have seen post ID. So so the use existing post, hit that drop down, use existing post in the middle, use existing post. Right one here. Yeah, we're in the we're in the right step. But scroll down. Normally you would see enter post ID. There it goes. Okay, enter post ID. So click on enter post ID. No, no, no. Enter post ID in blue right below. Right here. Yes. Enter post ID and then paste in the number. Actually, that was the old number. But go ahead and submit because they gave you a new set of numbers. Yeah, so go back to that. Um, yeah, there was that new set of numbers. Um, is it what page was it? No, click on, is it that one? So that's what you do. Paste in the, the post ID and it'll pull the post from, from the number. Um, so in this case, our whole objective is brand awareness is views, is just to get our, our video out there and, and grab as much data as possible of people watching it. Right, that's the whole objective. So you can add a call to action just for the heck of it. Since actually we don't even have a page yet, so go ahead and just do. Actually, don't. Yeah, no call to action button. It's all about watching the video. There's no button. There's nothing to click on. It's all about watching the video, and that's all we're trying to shoot for. So here, website events. That box is checked. Um, you see your your green pixel there. So that pixel is good, and we publish, and that's it. Okay. Okay. So we publish it. That's literally the only three steps that's all it takes to run a facebook ad and even an instagram ad um to run it on instagram in the placement section so if you click on budget 10 per day 50 mile radius go back to the ad set yeah that's the ad set level so to run an instagram ad it's exactly like this scroll down the only difference is we would have went manual placements go all the way to the bottom the only difference is we would have went manual placements okay and then scroll down, we would uncheck everything except for Instagram. So oh, gotcha. uncheck Facebook, uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger, and we would only go Instagram. Oh, okay. But for Instagram, it's always best to um, just put disc discard draft at the bottom, discard draft. Right. Bottom right, discard draft. But but on Instagram, um, yeah, discard. On Instagram, um, Okay, schedule perfect. On Instagram, that video would have been best shot vertical. Yeah, that right. Makes so sense. here you shot horizontal, which is perfect for Facebook. Um, but yeah, Instagram. That's when you'll test ads on Instagram. We'll do one video maybe horizontal. We'll do the next video vertical, and we'll run it on Instagram and we'll target Facebook as well. But we'll only target mobile users on Facebook. Okay. Right. So we'll go into that for sure. So here, um, the ad set level, everything's approved. Facebook just, just when it says scheduled, Facebook approved it. They approved the targeting. They approved the budget. They approved the calendar. They approved, they approved the placement. Click on the campaign tab, campaigns. So here they already approved schedule. They already approved the, the, the objective, which was awareness. Um, and then the category of housing. So it's not, in, it's not until the third category. So the third tab, I should say the third, the ads tab. So click on the, the ads tab to the right. The third uh, step, this will be processing. So all they're doing here is they're still processing and then it goes into review on this third tab. And all they're doing is reviewing the video and reviewing the, um, the actual um, text. Now here, here's something real quick on the video because I've had ads re get rejected. I don't know, I, don't, I didn't watch the whole video of this. So let me just ask you, is there any alcohol in the background? Is there, is there a bar? Is there uh, bottles like... I don't believe so. It's just strictly the food. Yeah. Okay, good. Because ads will get rejected on that. If 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 we were just doing a simple shot like this, but there was a bar in the background, that ad would have got rejected. Not a, not a food bar, an actual alcohol bar. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to see if um, it would be on the. So if it's just if it's just the food, then 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 we're good. Um, see the 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 Coke, the Coca Cola in the background. If that was beer bottles. Then, then it would it would get rejected. That's good to know. I, yeah, yeah, right. A lot of places. And I, what I'm 
mm -hmm. wonder how good they didn't have any bottles sitting there. Yeah, yeah, that would have threw off the whole ad. I've had clients, it only happened a couple of times because I, I always, I learned from that first two times it happened to a couple of my clients and then I just started teaching it after that because they even sell alcohol actually yeah good good because I'll have I had a couple clients where they um they were doing a walkthrough they're at an actual listing and they're doing a walkthrough of a freaking you know two million dollar property for example and there's a wet bar in the back right they're just doing a walkthrough simple selfie style video showing the bedroom showing the kitchens and then there's a wet bar in the background the ad got rejected oh wow and and they clearly tell you exactly why and it's alcohol alcohol was in the video blah 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 ad is rejected all because yeah and it's yeah so yeah so that video looks good so we're good so now so that was step one let's go into step two really really quick go back to the ads manager that's step one step one is posting it on the business page first um and then and then setting up the ad we're going to refresh this page that processing should turn into review Okay, still processing. That's fine. Okay, cool. So um, in a, yeah, in a few minutes, they'll say review. But that's step one, posting on the business page and then coming over here and scheduling the ad to go live the next day at 6 a.m. That's step one. Step two, the moment you do that, we come into step two, the detail targeting. Yeah, that's fine. We come into step two and we create the custom audience around that video. So now we'll click on the three lines and just go to audiences. And so now we want to make sure that we capture it from, from the moment it starts Facebook starts capturing that data of, of those who watch. Um, in this case, we'll do we'll do through we'll do we'll do actually yeah we'll do through play, which is fifteen seconds. So yeah, click on the blue one and then custom audience and then um, video. We'll go video and then we'll find that video. So hit next and then engagement type. So this is where you get to choose what what timestamp right. So on a on a on a what was it? how long was it? How, 30 seconds it was 30 seconds it was a minute and 30 seconds i think oh yeah 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 you're right this this one uh, okay cool perfect so minute 30 so on on a minute 30 yeah we'll either go 15 seconds or we'll go 25% what was 25% again uh at this one 30 seconds yeah gosh it's going to be what a minute uh, a little over that a little over 30 seconds 25% maybe, maybe to 15 seconds no because so, so 25% of, of 130, 25% of 60 Eight. is 25. So, so what, like maybe a little over what, 40 seconds? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 25% of 130. Um, so that's, so that's not bad. That's not bad. So 25%, we can, we can either go, let's go, let's go 25%. Let's go 25%. And if anything, we can also we and, and we can create multiple audiences as well. So we can do one twenty five percent. We can do one fifteen second. So let's do let's do twenty five percent. It's always good to, to go a little higher, not too too high. Like I don't want to watch hit the drop down again. Go go back and just the bottom drop down the the twenty yeah. So here a lot of people would think, well, David, why don't I just create an audience around those who watch ninety five percent of my whole video? The answer is because that audience will be too small. Yeah. Not everyone's watching the whole damn thing at all. Not everyone's watching even half of it, right? And that's for all of us, every video. I mean, so so if I can just capture the attention or if I could just segment and capture the audience of those who watched at least a good amount, might not have been half, may for sure not the whole thing, but they, they watched at least 30 seconds, 40 seconds of my two minute video, for example, that's a good audience. You know, so, so here we'll go 25% off of 130. So choose video. So hit the blue, choose videos, and then just... um. And then find that video. So right in, in the top right, choose videos. And then and then you'll just go to your Facebook page. Go to, to the actual Hayes King one. So to the right, hit the drop down. No, no, to the right. Yeah, you're in the missing link page. So come down to your page. Perfect. And then here you'll just, so that was, that was 2019. So you'll have to kind of, yeah, you may have to scroll. So now the retention, the retention, all the previous views happened a couple years ago. All the previous views, watch, go back to the actual video on the Facebook page. What do we got? Like a hundred views on it, I think, or, or a couple hundred views. What was it again? It was, um, yeah, it was 105. So two mm -hmm. years ago, 2019, 105 views. That was an organic post. There's a good chance that there's a high percentage of the 105 that don't even live in the area. 
because it was an organic post. So people that are following the page from all over the place, people like me are probably part of that 105. So it's really from this point on, from this point on, I want the audience from this point on. So the retention is going to be 30 days. Since we're running it as an ad from this point on, Facebook will keep people that have watched this video in the past 30 days of, the, of today in this audience. And that's what we want. So take away 365, put 30. 30. And then audience name, taco shop video, taco shop video. Um, and then in parentheses, 25%. Yeah, taco shop video, 25%, create audience, and that's it. So those are really the two most important steps is posting on the business page first, setting up the ad. That's step one. And then step two, coming over here and creating the, creating the custom audience. Okay. That's and nothing it. here, right? You can click done. That's all. And then, and then what I like to do real quick is, is, is take a quick, quick look at the ad. So click the three lines, go back to the ads manager. Scheduled. Yeah. So, so now, now if you check the box to the left of it, yeah, don't click the blue dot, check the box and then click on your third tab um, ads. Yeah. Click on that one. And then now in review. Mm -hmm. So now what I always like to do is I always like to just hit edit right below the title, new awareness ad. So hit hover over that, click on edit. And this will just give you a quick view of the ad. Um, so share in the top, right, the drop down share, hit that drop down, um, top, right. Yeah. Share. I wonder why I did. go ahead and publish. Go ahead and pu actually, yeah, I think, yeah, publish. Actually, wait a minute. You went, wait a minute. There was, um, how do we, how do we go create ad? How do we, are we in the right one? We are, right? We're in ads. Do we? Now all attention goes straight to the ad. There's no distraction with a button. Right. There's no learn more or anything like that. It's just stri strictly just watching the video. Okay. Perfect. That's it. So just, yeah, setting up the ad, posting it first, and then creating the custom audience. And that's that. Awesome.